Y'all, I'm gonna show you everything about the Garrett's Pizza Oven. Guys, this thing is perfect for the grill. This little oven fits on top of your grill. We're gonna make a pizza today. We're gonna use my Weber kettle. We're put that, uh, that pizza oven right on top. Guys, this little pizza oven is pretty cool, man. Like, I, they reached out to me, but in my mind, I was thinking this is a no-brainer. Instead of having a big old pizza oven that you have to stoke with the wood and coals and all that stuff, or even like a gas oven, I guess. This one you just set on top of your grill, which you know, you're used to putting charcoal and wood in anyway. The oven itself has a bunch of holes on the bottom of it right, that sit right underneath that uh, pizza stone and that lets in all of that good wood fire flavor. So, hey, when they reached out, I was like, dude, send it to me. I gotta try this thing. So I wanna share it to you guys. I'll have a link down below if you wanna get yourself one, but this is a really inexpensive pizza oven that fits on your grills. Right now I have mine on my Weber kettle, but it'll fit on your standard gas grill. It's 18 inches deep, 17 inches wide, and then 16 inches at the opening. So you have plenty of room on your gas grill if you wanna put it on there. But for me, I wanna have that wood fire flavor. So we're gonna put it on our Weber kettle. Nothing left to do but get this thing fired up. We're gonna get a nice bed of coals underneath it. A couple chunks of my Bear Mountain uh, barbecue wood. I got some uh, hickory chunks over there. So let's get it on there, get it fired up. Right here. So here's our setup. We got our Gera's pizza oven right here. They got the pizza stone in it already. We're going to use some hickory barbecue wood from uh, Bear Mountain Barbecue. Right. We'll throw a couple pieces on there. We got some Fogo charcoal already in there. We're going to put some in the chimney and light it up too. Spread it all out relatively even and then uh, add a couple wood chunks, get that fire going, put that Gera's pizza oven on top and we're good to go. are fired up let's get them in there let's use this little gray tool we're gonna spread them out make sure the heat's evenly distributed get our wood chunks on great on get that getters on and we'll uh once it gets to the ideal temp we'll get our uh, pizza on there all right guys smoke is going we got it firing it up. We have a little infrared thermometer that we're going to check the temps with. Once it gets to that ideal range, we'll go ahead and uh, get that pizza on. But first, let's go inside and get the pizza made so we can get it on. All right, team, it's tipping slightly over where we want it to be. But well, that's all right. With this Weber, we can back down the heat. So I'm gonna close one of the vents and that should bring down the heat a little bit. Okay, so let's open this thing up. That's what we're looking like on the inside. All right, let's check the heat on the stone. Woo, 700, 775, give or take. Woo, it's gonna be a hot one. We're gonna cook these pizzas fast. Let's check the outside, 276. That thing is hot too, all right? So guys, the whole thing is hot. Get yourself some gloves to work with, okay? Especially if you're using it on open fire like this. All right, let's go get the pizza in. You can see backing down the Weber helped put it back in the ideal spot. Swear to everything that's good and holy. If I could actually get a pizza to go off a peel, it'd be a damn miracle. All right, got that pizza in there. All right, let's shut this down. Check it after 30 seconds to give it a spin. Yeah, it's been 30 seconds. Do a little turn. I have a feeling the crust is gonna be a bit burnt. That's okay. Give it another turn. Besides tearing it right there, actually looks pretty dang good. All right, let's talk about it. The thing I wanna show off real quick is this lid actually fits on top of it. So just like you can close your lid on the gas grill, you can use your lid to add extra insulation heat in there. All right, y'all, here's the deal. I made that thing too damn hot, okay? So even though the outside temp gauge says 
uh, ideal. You're gonna wanna get yourself one of these infrared guns so you can see the temp on the inside. Now I'm using a store-bought dough out of the can. For me, it was just an easy way to try this thing out before I put a lot of effort into making a pie. And it just is what it is before I start making my dough, all that jazz. But what I've learned from this one is back down the amount of coals you have in there, let it burn a little bit more. And even though that temp gauge says ideal on the top, the actual stone might be a little bit too hot, okay? So keep an eye on that. I had a little bit thinner Neapolitan crust, you know, then that high heat, that 700 degrees, all that would be pretty ideal for this. But if you're just making your normal pie with the fam, you want it cooled down, you want it to about 450, 500 degrees in there. So trial and error, you know, you learn, you live, you learn. They all can't be winners, right? But what is a winner is this actual pizza oven. I love that's gonna sit on that kettle or uh, I don't have a gasser yet, but I. Um, I have one, it's just in the garage, it needs to be put together. So stay tuned for that. That's a big deal coming our way. All right. All right, y'all got me a slice right here. Let's take a bite. Y'all, you can hear that crunch from the crust. It's a little bit overdone for me. Uh, I think I got it a little too hot in there, but it turned out okay. This thing takes a little bit of practice. So keep that in mind. We're gonna dial in that heat a little bit better next time. Uh, so I get more browning on the top and not so much browning on the bottom. Guys, this is a great, great pizza oven great thing to add to the arsenal in the backyard here so i suggest you guys check it out all right guys we're about done here listen if you want to get one of these garas pizza ovens for your grill i'll put a link down below okay check it out if you guys want to get anything i use in my videos from knives to cutting boards to merch all down below if you'd like to get in a backyard where you don't have a bunch of people talking around you i don't know what to tell you that's outdoor cooking for you <laughs> anyway you guys want to get any of the knives, cutting boards, merch, all that stuff I use in my videos, links are all down below. If you'd like to become a show producer like all the awesome people scrolling in front of me, people that love a good pizza and probably want to check out this oven, there are two ways to join up. Either you hit that Patreon link in my video description or hit that join button right next to the subscribe button, which you should have already hit by now. But other than that, we're done. Whatever, it's cooking outside. Sometimes you got to deal with neighbors. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.